What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome back to another Emily Damali video. This time we have six creamy, smooth, really deliciously opaque shimmers to check out. I think by the time I get this video up, I'm squeezing in the polish pickup part two video. I think by the time this video comes out, it's going to be already launched. So we'll see about that. But I digress. Let's check out the swatches. That's why you're here. So let's get started. First step is Alone in a Room. This is described as a dark mauve brown polish with a strong turquoise shimmer. This is quite creamy on application. It pretty much applies like a straight cream. I'm going to suggest three lighter coats to build it up to opacity, however. It is very buttery smooth and it self levels very well, but I just feel like maximizing that shimmer payoff is so worth it. I think some of you with a lighter free edge or if you're wearing falsies, whatever it is, will have full opacity on that second coat, especially if you apply on the, the more normal side. But again, that third coat just vamped it out even more. This will dry down on the quite flat side. So I would suggest finishing with a thicker, glossy top coat of some sort. This to me is like fall in a bottle. Essence of Light is described as a very light brown polish with a blue shimmer and a silver magnetic effect. Those of you who really appreciate polishes that A are very versatile in wearing it unmagnetized or magnetized. This is like a 2-4 special. That and those of you who like those ghostly ethereal type of magnetics, this is going to be up your alley. When you don't magnetize it, it's going to take on this beautiful, strong chrome effect. Go in soft on your brush strokes. Let that new paddle brush, P.S. Emily Damali, switched over to wide brushes. Yay. Uh, let it do the work for you and you're just fine. If you overwork it, you might get a touch of streaking across your nails, but that's just indicative to how chrome finishes apply. When you magnetize it, it is so pretty and there's a lovely movement with it. Whatever magnet you're using, it is just quite obvious. That blue in the backdrop there when you magnetize it easily shifts over to purple like on my macro shot here. Very, very pretty. So easy to magnetize whether you're going to magnetize each layer or use the magic magnetic top coat like I do. Field of Thoughts is described as a bright chartreuse green base with green aurora shimmer. I guess I'm just super feeling these types of colors right now, which is usually weird because chartreuse is not a color I typically gravitate towards, but uh, the Monarch on my PPU video, I really liked. And then this one I really like too. It's, I guess maybe it's because they're more yellow leaning than say that prugly type of mustard undertone. I don't know. It's a very nice color. I thought it popped really well on me. So medium to deep skin tones. This might not be one that you want to shy away from. I would suggest three lighter coats to build it up. It's got a buttery smooth formula, just like alone in a room. If ever at all, speaking of buttery formulas, is described as a dark purple base with copper to gold to green shifting Aurora shimmer. This is what I'm always talking about, that type of purple. It's incredibly flattering, very glowy, and the particle size to the shimmer is to me, almost flirting with being a foil type. Not quite because we're not getting that metallic type of glisten look, but it's larger particles. So it's a very obvious inner reddish type glow. Super, super pretty. Please note that my photos are pulling just the slightest bit lighter in terms of the base color. So for a better representation, I mean, it's just beautiful and shimmery good regardless, but for a better representation, I would suggest referring to my full hand shot on the video. I would also suggest three light coats and a glossy top coat. The same dream is a very pale purple base with green to pink shifting duochrome shimmer. Another beautiful shimmer. All of these apply like straight up creams and are just jam packed with beautiful shimmer. The same dream has a strong pearly look when you build it to opacity and very much kind of like the, the magnetic polish, but obviously it's not a chrome. You'll want to go in soft and not overwork this one. So do as minimal brush strokes as possible to prevent any type of potential streaking. This will build very easily like the others in this release. So three light coats or two normal coats, your preference and a good glossy top coat will give you that gel like appearance. And lastly, we have save your prayers. This is a bright cobalt 
base with strong golden green large particle shimmer. Speaking of foils, um, it's almost like I planned that segue there. This is what I would consider a true foil type finish, especially for those of you who are new to indie polish. These are large particle shimmers that give you that very glistening, almost sparkly type effect. This is stunning. I stopped at two coats, which I know Madam Three Coats loves her third coat, but I felt like if I went in for the third, it would have been over build up and too much on the nail. It plumped up perfectly at two normal coats. Easy peasy application here too. You'll want to finish with a plumping glossy top coat as this will dry down very flat like the others. And we're going to wrap this up with the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. So across the board, all of these are, well, except for the, the magnetic one, the rest of them, all five of them are so incredibly pigmented, but that doesn't mean you can't layer them. I think if you went in lighter and gentle on your brush to prevent streaking, it's perfect. Essence of Light, of course, it, it went so well over black. I think you could get a little creative with that one. And the rest of them, again, shimmer bombs. So of course they work, but they are quite pigmented. So for that reason, I think you might need to get a little nerdy with your color theory if you wanted to layer these. And again, go in light on packing them over your undie. The same dream is so pretty over black too, but I do think this one particularly is a touch too opaque, say for really dark colors and save your prayers is stunning. So I think this one, because it's a foil, you could get even more creative. So these are currently available right now. I'm going to go ahead and say that just because I am dotting my eyes, crossing my T's. I'm pretty sure they're going to be available by the time I drop this video. I'm hoping tomorrow, which is in real time, your today. I'm pretty sure that's going to be, let's say they're already released because that's going to be in like a couple hours. And anyways, I will link you all below to Emily to Molly's websites, both the US and international and the uh, Australian site for our Aussie friends. And I'll also link you to the Facebook group. If you haven't joined that, you can interact with the maker Haley. She's super awesome and see all kinds of upcoming things, all that good stuff. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.